Hey there everyone, Hatesh here, back again with another video and welcome to the TypeScript series. I'm pretty sure that you have already heard about the functions either in JavaScript or TypeScript, but I'm pretty sure that a lot of you don't know what should be the mindset behind using the functions in the TypeScript. There are a couple of ways that should always be running in your mind and don't worry, we will not be dragging this topic around for a thousand videos. There will be just two videos, this one and the next one and we'll be covering end-to-end -end functions in that. So after watching these two videos, you'll be all comfortable with handling any types of functions in TypeScript. So let's get started. I've created a new file up here which is saying simple console log and let's go ahead and try to create a function. We'll be creating basically three or four functions which will give you eventually the whole idea and the picture and scenario which you should be worried about. First of all, it's really clear that first function that I want, the goal behind it is I want to add a two value to it. So obviously I should be taking input as a simple number and let's go ahead and try this out. So let's just say if I go ahead and say, hey, I want to add a two. So I'll be taking input as number and that's pretty much it. And at the time of returning it, I'm going to go ahead and say, hey, whatever the number you are taking, just go ahead and add two to it. Pretty simple. Nothing wrong in that. Now, if I go ahead and work on with that, if I go ahead and try to add to this, I can go ahead and say, hey, I want to add two to the value five. Nothing wrong in it. Absolutely basic. But here comes the problem, the problem in the TypeScript. The problem which comes up in the TypeScript, and by the way, please excuse my system, it has been heavily loaded for the live classes and a whole lot of other things. So it might run a little bit slow, so we have to wait a little bit to see the errors. Now notice here, the first important thing is, in this add to function, if I hover this, we see any, and any is a problem in TypeScript. Whenever there is an inference of what should be the data type, it is usually good in the case of variables, but in the case of functions, not so good. So in this case, notice here the function add to ex accept a number which is any, which is problematic. The reason why it is problematic is because I can simply go ahead and come to here number and can I simply go ahead and assign uh, values like to uppercase, which I shouldn't be allowed to do and right now I'm allowed to do so. And even if I run this file because my system is a little bit slow today, so if I go ahead and run this one, I'm allowed to do so, although this is creating a problem that, hey, this is a duplicate function, so obviously this is the error we will talk about later on. Right now, let's go ahead and export this, save this, and there we go. So I can run this code again, and this produces a fine JavaScript, no problem at all, but I shouldn't be allowed to do this because if I just go ahead and convert this to into an uppercase that becomes a string, not a good idea. So that is one problem that I'm facing. Another problem that I'm facing is if I go ahead and convert this five like this, it still works, shouldn't be working there. The whole idea of the TypeScript is to have a stricter type so that we make less mistake and the fellow coder who are working with us makes less mistake. So in this case, let's go ahead and work on and try to fix that. Now the fix is really easy. I can go ahead up here and can say that, hey, whatever the value you are going for, make sure that the value that comes to you is always going to be the number. Now automatically TypeScript is giving me a problem that, hey, hey, whatever you're trying to do, this is not good, this is, this is not allowed. So please don't do this, always pass on a number to us. So now this kind of a five in the strings is not allowed. And go ahead and stop that. Now since you have written the function definition with the number being accepted like that, I cannot do mischief things like I can go, I cannot go ahead and say, hey, uh, you cannot go ahead and say, hey, to uppercase and go like this. No, nope, no, nope, you are not allowed to do. Whoever is the creator of this function or designer of the function in your entire group has said that this function needs to take input as a number. So that is why we're 100% sure that we, when we add a two to is, it is possible in operation. We don't need to do extra check. We don't need to run the conditional that, hey, if the number is a uh, number, then go ahead and do it. Otherwise return an error message that, hey, please pass on the number. No, you're not, not supposed to do all of that. So this is all good. Okay. This is the basics of it. Let's try to wrap this up with one more type of the thing. So another thing, another function that I want to have is a really a simple method in which I want to just have some string. So let's go ahead and have this one. So let's just say you are you were not aware about the two uppercase method. So you want to just go ahead and say, I want to have a function which says get upper. So what it does is convert any string into uppercase values. Uh, similar to that, you go ahead and say, hey, give me a value. I go up here and say, hey, I want to return whatever the value you get, I'm going to go ahead and put a two uppercase onto this one, two uppercase. Now again, I got no suggestion. First of all, that is bad. Probably my compiler is slow. That could be an acceptable case. But here in this case, since this value, if I go ahead and look onto this one, this is any, any is again wrong. And if I go ahead and say, hey, uh, let's just say get upper, 
I go up here and say, hey, this upper is going to get a value, something like this. Obviously, this is problematic here right now. Squiggly lines are there. It is telling me, hey, dude, you're doing wrong. You need to pass on one compulsory argument. So I can go ahead and pass on four. It's happy. And you know why it is happy? It shouldn't be happy. It should be mad at us because the value should always be string. So in this case, the type annotation is really, really strong. I told you in the earlier videos, in the case of variables, it's optional. It infers the type pretty nicely, so there is no problem. In the case of function, it is really compulsory. Let's go ahead and move on. And now it gives me a problem that, hey, dude, whatever you are doing with four, nope, you shouldn't be doing that. In case you want to convert this in uppercase, uh, either pass me on four like this, that is acceptable, that is doable, or just pass on like this, that is also doable. That is how you're using, I'll convert that. Okay, moving on quickly and fastly. Don't want to drag down the tutorial. Okay. Let's just say I create another function, which is going to be simply a sign up. So I'm going to go ahead and say sign up uh, user. So let's just sign up the user. Now for this one particular one, I'll just define the definition like this. And I want to have a couple of more parameters in this case. At the time of sign up of the user, uh, let's just say I'm going to ask him for a name. And I'm going to go ahead and ask him for email. And I'm going to ask him for password. Pretty common thing. You have seen this thousand times. Now, why this is particularly bad in this case, because I can simply go ahead and say, hey, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, have a user sign up. If I go ahead and go like this, obviously it complains that, hey, there are squiggly lines. So that means you have to pass on. But all of them, these are marked again as any, although there are three parameters this time, but they are being marked as any. So I can go ahead and say, hey, one, two, three, you should be all happy because it's any. And that defeats the purpose of having a TypeScript. So in these cases also, individually and this is the syntax how you do it this one is a string and uh, this one is also going to be a, a string and since everybody is a string let's change this one so this is going to be is paid uh, so just to have a flavor of it this is going to be a boolean so in this case we are going to go ahead and have a boolean value pretty simple pretty easy so this is now right now in our function body there is nothing in it but you get the idea you have watched the javascript the code part and everything you can write that this is a series more about focusing on the typescript so now we see the squiggly line complaint, but other guys are not complaining. And this is the one thing I absolutely like about the TypeScript. So fix one error at the time. This is updated in the recent version of it. So I go ahead and say, hey, you need name. I'm going to go ahead and give you a name, uh, probably my name. Then it says, hey, this is also incorrect. Uh, it, as argument is number, but it should be a string. So let me go ahead and change this one. So let me go ahead and say Hitesh uh, at uh, lco.dev. And uh, this one also needs to be a Boolean. So is it a paid user? Nope, it is a freebie. So there we go. Now it is all good and okay. Now, one more thing that I want to cover in this video quickly is another method. And then I'll tell you about the problem. So let's go ahead and actually use different kind of function this time, an arrow function. So let's just say uh, we're going to have a simply let. And this time login user. And we can just go ahead and use the arrow function. The definition remains same. So I won't be writing anything inside the curly braces. But the value which we are worried about is how to take the input. Let's just try to have simply email and uh, is paid. Let's just say these are the things. So I'm going to go ahead and worry about email, probably name also. Let's just say name, email. And uh, again, is paid. Uh, we are using same parameters. Now, this is good. This is good. There is no problem here. But let's just say I only want to pass on two values. Obviously, these kinds of cases will come up here. So in the name, I can go ahead and say, hey, this is going to be a string. The email is going to be a simple string. And the paid is going to be a simple Boolean. But one syntax that might confuse you, how can I pass on default values? Let's just say in the case of login user, I want to use this and I want to simply pass on just two things, maybe name and uh, email. So name is going to be uh, h and the email is going to be h at the rate h.com. I wish I got that domain, uh, but I don't want to pass on other values. Now, when I save this one, uh, notice here login user, it is not giving me any complaints as of now. Uh, let me go ahead and try to run this one. And there we go. I told you my system is a little slow today, but just giving the idea that yes, this is paid is a compulsory thing. It needs to be there. And one way you can have an avoidance of this one is simply by providing a default value. The syntax goes, first you annotate it, colon, and then the data type. And then you simply go ahead and say, hey, this is going to be false by default. And now the system is happy, not because it is slow. It is truly happy. I can go ahead and run the code and I can see that, hey, this was all okay. 
and this is the brief overview of it and yes it generates the equivalent of the same exact almost same code but notice here uh, some code was generated a little bit more in the login user this is the most important part where we should be focusing a little bit now obviously this is generating us var as a keyword we can update the ts config and learn about that later on please ignore that as a moment and right now we can see that there is a name email and is paid and we are looking for a conditional check if is paid is void, then it is zero, otherwise false. You get the idea. TypeScript help us to write a little bit of a cleaner code as a stricter code in that case. So this is all about it. But one thing still is remaining, which is, hey, uh, if you look at this example closely, uh, add to is a number that is great and fine. And maybe we are holding that value and further doing an operation. So for example, let my value that is going to be holding by add to. And I'm expecting that the value is going to be added to two, so seven value. But what instead of this, I go ahead and return not just like that. So let me just comment this out. And I go ahead and return a simple something like, hello, nobody's stopping me doing that. So we need to learn that, okay, this is completely stored and completely fine. And yes, my system is not slow. This actually is allowed right now. So we need to worry about one more thing about the functions, which is, how can I return more accurate value? And that's going to be coming up into the part two of the TypeScript function. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you up in the next video.